for too many years, the opening of the franchise tag period marked the true beginning of the NFL offseason in Washington, as the Redskins and Kirk Cousins awkwardly danced around a long-term contract for two straight years, the team deployed the franchise tag and paid their former quarterback a total of $44 million in 2016 and 2017, those days are over, even if the quarterback situation remains unsettled. Things looked solid when Washington traded for Alex Smith last year, but a horrific leg injury leaves nothing but questions for the fall, it won't be used at quarterback, but still, the franchise tag looms. Tuesday marks the first day NFL teams can apply the tag, and the Redskins have some valuable players possibly headed for free agency, Preston Smith and Jamison Crowder headline the potential free agent losses for Washington. Both drafted in 2014, their rookie deals are set to expire, and the marketplace should be welcoming to both players, Smith had a down year statistically in 2018, registering only four sacks. In four years in the burgundy and gold, however, Smith has totaled 24.5 sacks along with four forced fumbles and four interceptions. He's never missed a game in four seasons either, and has the length, frame and athleticism few outside linebackers can boast, it will be interesting to see how many teams are in the market for Smith. This is a particularly deep class of edge rushers heading to free agency, and Roto World 7 Silver ranked Smith the fifth best option with an expiring contract. The players ahead of him, however, could all get tagged by their teams, and that means Smith could become more desirable if he hits the market, will Washington tag Smith? Probably not, franchising Smith would mean paying him the average of the top five paid players at his position in the NFL. That means more than $17 million for the 2019 season, the Redskins can't offer that, because Smith would sign it in a second. His market will likely pay him at least $8 million per season, and perhaps $10 million per year or more, but $17 million is way too much. Smith is good, but that's Von Miller money. Well, what about Crowder? Again, the money will be too much. A wide receiver, the franchise tag for Crowder would be averaged out using the salaries of players like Odell Beckham and Antonio Brown. When healthy, Crowder is a nice player. He has quick feet and can gain separation on the inside of offensive schemes. That won't land him $16 million per season though like a tag would require. It's just not going to happen, two other Redskins starters are slated for free agency, haha <laughs> Clinton Dix and Adrian Peterson, the franchise tag for safeties carries the price tag of $12 million for 2019. Washington will not consider that, for Clinton Dix, the franchise tag for running backs carries the price tag of $12 million for 2019, Washington will not consider that, for Peterson, Redskins fans, remember how much you hated the franchise tag? Well this year you won't need to worry about it, more Redskins news.